Welcome back to the African Homestead. This is Eric. Well, we were able to go see the movie last night. I still don't know what to think about it. You know, of course, by the time you watch this video, I think that the movie's probably <laughs> is everybody's going to know about it. And uh, yeah, so that's my first impression. I was just kind of left speechless. Fantastic movie, great character development, great story. Just the ending. Yeah. So, but the important thing is, we have turkey chicks. Okay, so the mix is bronze breasted, royal palm, and I think it was called like miniature white. But anyway, those are the mix of the heritage breeds of these chicks. And so, just wanted to share, they're doing really good. I was a little worried last night because when they came in, they came in about a four hour trip in a Land Cruiser Jeep from the interior. Most of the roads are actually good uh, coming back, so they weren't really shook up. But they were in a card cardboard box from three in the afternoon. We got over there to pick them up about 12.30 in the morning. So they were in this box for a long time. So when I put them in the kennel, they, they didn't look too strong. And I was worried that maybe the stress was too much, they wouldn't make it to the morning, but they've really bounced back. I'll just show you. So as you can see, they're looking lively. Let me just open this up. They are enjoying the feed. My friend Bill, let me get that open. My friend Bill at uh, the Agricultural Research Center was nice enough to send some feed back with them. And so I'm gonna transition them over to the feed that I made. But right now they're eating what they're used to, which is great. And uh, so I didn't know how big they were gonna be when I cut these slots. I was making them big enough for their heads, but obviously they're big enough to get into it. So, but they're doing good. They're eating. I, I watched them drink this morning. Uh, they just stand right up on the rim and drink. So that's working as designed. The big, I was a little worried about the big wood shavings, whether that would cause them trouble with walking, but they're, they're fine. They're doing great. So you can see the little dinosaurs are just doing fantastic. Got one in there. And down. I'm not trying not to scare them too much. Got this white one back here. Probably this, she, this one is definitely the smallest of the group um, but they're all doing great so I'll just keep uh, keep talking about how they're doing in the coming weeks until it's time to harvest right before Thanksgiving dinner I have a question for those of you who have raised turkeys in the past when I talked to Bill at the Agricultural Research Center and asked him how old are these chicks. He didn't know when they hatched, he just knew they were the newest chicks that they had. And so when you look at these chicks, and I can see their, their permanent feathers coming in already, I, I don't, I really, I don't know, I've never had turkeys before, but can you look at the size and the feathers and estimate approximately how many weeks it has been since they hatched? I appreciate any advice you have, really anything related to raising turkeys, leave in the comment section below. We've had the chicks a little over a week now and they're doing pretty well. Uh, we got four chicks originally and one of them was, was mostly white and it just wasn't as strong as the others, uh, it, it wasn't as active and it didn't make it. Uh, just a couple of days ago it died and so we've taken it out but the other three it just have been growing and eating great and drinking great. I used uh, Justin Rhodes Magic Water for the first week and they responded really well to that. So uh, let me just open up the cage here and let you see inside. So they have really taken to the feeder. And this one, every time I come out here, it is inside. And uh, pretty soon, they're going to be big enough that their bodies are not going to fit in there anymore. But uh, they're, they're enjoying the feed. The mix that I showed you uh, earlier in the video, we're using that. Plus, uh, Bill sent down some of his own uh, feed mix with them. And so we're just mixing the two of those and they're doing great. And this is the first day that they've had straight water in their water. And uh, so we'll see that I'm sure they won't have any trouble with that. Another thing that I'm doing, usually in the afternoons, I'll give them the feed in the morning. And in the afternoons, I go chop up some potato greens, sweet potato greens. And they love it, they really do go nuts over that 
and um, well, look at that. See that? They really enjoy these sweet potato greens. And so that's their afternoon treat. They just go nuts about that. All right. Puppies are getting bigger. Look at that dirty face. I just give them all water and they just barrel together to drink it. And the turkeys are getting bigger. So this is week three. Just give me an idea. I just raised their feeding bucket again because they're still climbing inside, but pretty soon they're going to be too big to fit in there. But uh, they're doing well as they get this uh, messed up with their poop. I'm just adding in more wood shavings and just layering that up. So I don't know how long I'm going to keep them in here. Probably another, I don't know, week or two. I just want to make sure when they get in with the chickens that they are not too vulnerable. I want them to be big enough. And I'll probably just put one in and see how that one does. And just sit out there for an hour and watch to make sure they do okay. But they're continuing to grow, and uh, feathers are continuing to come in. This one that is closest to us, I think, is going to be just beautiful. And so we're just going to see how, how they turn out.